The Stranger by Norman Whitney. A page in film news. Dave never talked about Greta Gordon. He never talked about her visit to the corner shop. One day, Anna asked him about the film star. How do you know Greta Gordon? said Anna. Is she a friend of yours? I don't want to talk about her, Dave replied. She was a special order customer. Don't ask any more questions about her, Anna. So Anna did not ask any more questions. She did not ask about Greta Gordon's special order, and she did not ask about the rings. Anna kept her promise. She never told anyone about the film star. Soon it was spring. Anna and Dave were busy. Mr. Hart brought lots of flowers to the corner shop, and Anna sold them to the tourists. There were lots of tourists that year. In May, Peter asked Anna to marry him. She said yes. They became engaged. They planned to get married in the following year. Now they needed money, so they worked hard and they saved. They were very much in love. On Saturdays, Peter played football or cricket, and Anna often went to the cinema in Lydney. He enjoyed sports, and she loved watching films. One day, Anna was reading Film News. This was a magazine about film stars. She turned the pages. There was a picture of Greta Gordon. Anna was pleased. What a surprise! Beautiful woman was going to be a big film. And now Greta Gordon had the star part. Anna wanted to tell Peter about Greta, but she kept her promise. She did not tell anyone. But she did show film news to Dave Slayton. Look, Dave, she said, here's a story about Greta Gordon. Isn't it great? She's got the big part in Beautiful Woman. Dave looked at the magazine. Greta Gordon will star in Beautiful Woman. The star of Beautiful Woman was Joanna Lee, but Miss Lee has broken her arm. I don't know what happened, said Miss Lee. I was in my bedroom. I slipped and fell. Greta Gordon will now be the star of Beautiful Woman. I'm so lucky, Greta told us yesterday. I've always wanted the part. I can't believe it. I don't know anything about films, he said. Is Greta Gordon a big star? Anna laughed. Big star? Yes, she is. She's terrific. Dave didn't seem interested. I hope she's happy with her big part, was all he said. Chapter 6 A Quick Kiss Summer tourists were arriving in Wood End. The weather was beautiful, and the shop was doing well. But Anna was not very happy. She often thought about Greta Gordon's visit. Why had she come to see Dave? What had happened to the diamond rings on her fingers? There was another problem. Anna loved Peter, and she was going to marry him. But she liked Dave, too. Dave was older, but she liked him. All the women liked him but Anna was very close to him all day. In the daytime, Anna was with Dave. In the evening, she was with Peter. Anna was living two lives. One life was with Dave, the other life with Peter. Then one Friday, Dave surprised Anna. What are you doing tomorrow? he asked her. Would you like to spend the day with me? We can go anywhere you like. We can go in my car. I'm sorry, Dave, said Anna, but Peter wouldn't like it. Don't be silly, said Dave. We won't go far. I'll close the shop at lunchtime, and we can go to Lydney. Anna wanted to go with Dave, but she was worried about Peter. Don't worry about Peter, said Dave. He's always busy on Saturday. Anna thought for a moment. All right, she said. You take me to the best cinema and to the best restaurant. Then I'll come with you. Of course, laughed Dave. Anything you want, Anna. 
So the next afternoon, Dave and Anna went together to Lydney. They had a good time. Dave bought Anna a new, expensive dress. Then they went to a cinema and afterwards to a restaurant. Peter played cricket that Saturday. He never knew about Anna's day with Dave. He was playing in another village and returned to Woodend very late. Dave and Anna were also very late. Dave stopped his car near the corner shop. The night was warm. Thanks, Dave, said Anna. It was a lovely day. I enjoyed it too, said Dave. He put his arm round her shoulders and kissed her. It was a quick kiss, but for Anna it was wonderful. Chapter 7 Another Special Order The summer passed. The corner shop was always busy. Sometimes Dave opened the shop on Sundays, too. Anna earned a lot of money. Everyone thought that she was happy. But life was difficult for her. She liked Dave. He was her boss, and he was older than her. But Peter was her fiancé, and he was about the same age. Dave was quite rich, but Peter had no money. Dave bought Anna clothes, and he took her out. Peter did not buy her clothes and never took her anywhere. He was more interested in football. Anna did not like football. Now it was September. Peter played football every Saturday. One Saturday there was a big football match on television. Mr. Hart had the biggest television in the village, and he invited some people to his house. He invited Peter and Anna. On Friday, the day before the match, Anna was working in the shop all day. At five o'clock, she locked the shop door. Two minutes later, the bell rang, and Anna went to the door. There was a young man outside. He was carrying a small case. Hello, she said. Can I help you? I hope so, said the young man. I want to see Mr. Slayton. I'm afraid that the shop is closed now, said Anna. We're open tomorrow morning. But I've got an appointment, said the young man. Then Dave spoke behind Anna. She hadn't seen him. Yes, I've been waiting for you, said Dave. You're late. I'm very sorry, Mr. Slayton, said the young man. I was... Never mind, never mind, said Dave rudely. His rudeness surprised Anna. The young man seemed afraid. But can you see me now? he asked. Yes, said Dave. Come in. Dave turned to Anna. Anna, it's after five o'clock. You can go home now. I won't be long, said Anna. Dave was angry. Hurry up and go home, he said. But Anna wanted to stay. She wanted to know about the young man. The young man followed Dave to the back of the shop and into the special orders room. Another special order, another special customer. Anna waited. But soon it was half past five. Anna put her coat on and left the shop. She closed the door very loudly. Then she went round the corner and waited. Soon there was a noise. The young man was leaving the shop. Anna could not see him, but she could hear him. He was speaking to Dave. Are you sure? said the young man. What do you mean? asked Dave. Is this the only way? said the young man. Yes, it is, said Dave. Don't worry, everything will be all right. Goodbye. Anna heard the shop door close. She came round the corner and saw the young man. He was walking quickly to his car. Anna noticed immediately that he was not carrying his case. She followed him. Excuse me, she said, you've forgotten something. You've left something behind. The young man turned round. Anna stopped. Suddenly she was frightened. The young man's face was white. It was white with fear. Please go away, said the young man. Leave me alone. I want to go home. Leave me alone. He got into his car and drove off. 
Anna stood in the street and watched him. She was thinking. Why had the young man come to the corner shop? What was his special order? And why had he left his small case with Dave Slatin? Chapter 8 The Football Match The next day was the day of the big football match. Mr Hart had invited about ten people. Anna did not watch the game. She was helping Mrs Hart in the kitchen. They were making tea. It was a good game, and everyone was enjoying it. At half-time, Peter went into the kitchen. Why don't you come and watch the match, Anna? He said. It's really good. Come on. Anna laughed. No, thanks, she said. I'm helping Mrs Hart. Look, here's the tea. Can you take it in to the others? OK, said Peter. It's a terrific match. Mike Bailey scored a great goal. Peter took the tea into the sitting room, and the second half of the match started. The second half was very exciting. Mike Bailey scored another goal after 20 minutes. The score was 2-0. Then the other side scored two quick goals. It was 2-2. Two -two. There were only five minutes of the match left. Come on, shouted Peter. Come on, Mike, let's have another goal. In the last seconds of the match, Mike Bailey scored the winner. It was his third goal of the match. But something was wrong. The other team's goalkeeper was injured. Bailey had been very near the goalkeeper, and he had kicked the ball very hard. The ball had hit the goalkeeper's neck. Mrs Hart and Anna came in from the kitchen. What's happened? said Anna. What's wrong? It's Brian Thomas, the goalkeeper, said Peter. He's injured. It was serious. The goalkeeper had broken his neck. Later they all watched the news on TV. They saw pictures of Mike Bailey's third goal. It was a great goal. They saw the ball hit the goalkeeper. It was an accident. The TV announcer said, And now over to our sports studio for an interview with Mike Bailey. They all watched the interview. The TV showed a picture of Mike Bailey and the interviewer. Mike, said the interviewer, three goals in one match. How do you feel about that? But Mike Bailey said nothing. He could not speak. He tried to speak, but he could not. It was terrible. The interviewer tried another question. Let me ask you about the third goal, Mike. It was a great goal, but how do you feel about the injury to Brian Thomas? It was a silly question. The injured goalkeeper would never play football again. Mike Bailey said nothing. He looked very ill. When the interview ended, Mr Hart turned off the TV. No one noticed that Anna had left the room. Mike Bailey had looked frightened. Anna was frightened too. Mike Bailey and Anna had met before, the day before, at the corner shop.